Uh, that is the unison part to Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder. Again, doing the series in honor of a request that came in and the fact that it was Stevie Wonder's 70th birthday last week. Happy birthday, Stevie. All right, so the thing about this, it's an iconic unison melody funk riff, but uh, once you learn how to play it, it's easier to play it than it is to explain it, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Again, there's tons of sources out there, videos, documents on how to play this. I thank you for tuning into this, but I definitely encourage uh, learning it from a multitude of perspectives uh, to better understand this part. So I'm gonna break down again as best as I can. It is really just one pentatonic scale with a couple of uh, chromatic notes in there. Uh, it's gonna be based out of, again, B, a B pentatonic scale. But I'm gonna start it from an F sharp down here. So I'm gonna do when you play a pentatonic scale, I like to play what's called the running pentatonic scale, where I play a series of two notes, three notes, two notes, and three notes on each string. So in this one, I'm going to play an F sharp to a G sharp, second fret to fourth fret on the E string. A string, I'm going to play second fret, fourth fret, and sixth fret, which is a B, C sharp, and D sharp. Next string towards the ground, I'm just going to repeat what I did on the first or on the E string, I'm just going to play an F sharp to a G sharp, which would be the 4th fret to the 6th fret, and then 3 notes on the 1st string, which would be the 4th fret, 6th fret, and 8th fret, which is my B, C sharp, and D sharp. There's one octave. Octave number 2. Now I'm going to play this in two other positions. One of the positions is the same thing I just played, but an octave higher. So instead of starting on fret 2, I'm going to start above the 12th fret, fret 14. Same exact thing. And there's going to be a couple blue notes in here. So if you think of this as the first note of the scale, it's going to be between notes 2 and 3. So I'm going to take this part and break it up into about like eight digestible sections and just learn each part and then piece them together. That's the way I kind of learned it when I was first learning it. All right. So the first part is just going to be based out of this position. So I'm going to play the B. So I'm going to think of it as notes one, two, three, five, and six as intervals within the scale. So I'm going to go one, one, three, two, two, six, five. Okay, rhythm wise, that is going to be kind of like a one, two, E, and a three, E, and a. All right, so you pop on a beat. I'm going to put this at like 80 beats per minute and just play it a couple times. All right, that's too fast. You put it at 60. Then you bump it up to 80, two, ready, go. Okay. Now ultimately you want to work out to about a hundred, somewhere between a hundred and 110. Um, I think the song's about like 104, 105 beats per minute. All right. Then the second section, this is the fun part. So I'm gonna play it low first, just so you can see it and hear it. So I'm just going to run straight up that pentatonic scale with those blue notes. First measure, but I'm going to start on beats and uh, after four. So it goes one, two, three, four, and a one. So I got three groupings of notes: F sharp, G sharp, B, and then another grouping of three notes, which is going to be played on a and a one and a two 
and a one and a two. And that's the, the chromatic run from the C sharp to the D sharp through the D. And a one and a two and a so that kind of melts together. And a one and a two and a and a just playing the same pattern two different octaves but with a different rhythmic foundation 60 beats per minute two three four So I'm just going to play it up an octave. So I'm going to play it at the 14th fret. Right, it's a little cramped space up here, but that's where it's played. And a one, and a two, and a, and a. All right, then the next part is cool because it's, it's very groovy in the sense where it is going to play a one, It's just a four note pattern here, right in the middle, middle two strings, 11th fret, 9th fret, um, on both strings. So I'm going to descend all four notes, go back to the top and descend three and just ascend to one note. One E and a two E and a, just put it all together. So then we get to the second half. So I'm basically splitting it in half, four riffs here and four riffs there. All right, so this is kind of cool. So um, one of my favorite things to do in a pentatonic scale, very blues bass, is to play uh, three note patterns. So you descend three notes, I'll send a note that's going to start a new pattern of descending three notes. So based out of this pentatonic scale, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna descend three notes back up and descend three notes climb back up descend climb back up descend climb back up descend climb back up descend climb back up and then here i'm going to go down four notes so i'm going to go one two three 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 four but then it's the rhythmic element of this that makes it a little bit tricky so i'm going to split it up into two patterns but just know that's the continuous pattern one two three 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 four so that's what one two three four five six so six three note patterns and one four note pattern all right so to break this down it's going to go one and a two E and a three E and then you have a long note. So you got a long note and then a bunch of short notes. One and a two E and a three E and and then it's just gonna be a whole bunch of sixteenth notes again after that, after beat four. One and a two E and a three E and E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a and one and a two E and a three E and E and a one E and a two E and a and. So again, break that up into two patterns. Pattern one would be like this. 
this. Pattern two would be this. Okay, from here it gets a little bit easier. So the next pattern I'm just gonna run up from F sharp all the way up those pentatonic notes up to that B on string number one. And rhythm wise it's gonna go one E and a two E and a and then the next phrase is kind of its own thing so it's one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a e and one e and a two e and a e and i'm just repeating the last two notes that i played on the ascension one e and a two e and a Ascending straight through one E and a two E and a come back E and pattern four E and one a E and and a is that last part? take all those little pieces. I know this one's a little bit longer. Again, I said, once you get this down, it's gonna be much easier to play than it will be to explain it to anybody. Cause it is so funky, but it's all pentatonic bass with a couple chromatic notes. personally when I'm playing at full tempo you're not supposed to do this I guess or so I've heard I do a lot of ham rounds and pull-offs to make that flow tempo I need to practice it more so I can hit cleanly each individual note but there's always something to work on right and I'm gonna play this probably about 60 beats per minute ready Put up to 80. Two. Ready. Go. Two. Better now. Go. Alright, 
and then ultimately ends up at about 100. Again, I'm practicing this all the time, so I might mess this up if I do. So what? I'll keep playing it. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Should surmise uh, how to play Sir Duke by CB Wonder. I hope you enjoy this. Hope you have fun. Um, again, broke it down into those four sections. Go over each one individually. I know this is the one you probably want to play, but the rest of the, the parts are great. Click on those in the link below. Uh, if you don't fully grasp it by what I've talked about, look it up. Check it out from a different source. Like This is a great song to just continuously practice and study. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Again, have fun, and we'll see you in the next song.